G'day there. As we look back at the year of 2022 for Star Wars, we had some amazing shows released. The return of Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan was such a highlight for me personally, and the show itself had some pretty epic moments. So today, let's rank the best moments from Kenobi. At number five is Vader's star killer moment. This scene I love for the way it portrays Vader's anger and power. His hunt for Obi-Wan is so fierce and he is so close in this moment. And it was so cool to see Vader using his great force powers. To hardcore fans, we might recognize this move from the game Star Wars Force Unleashed from the character Starkiller, which is a nice little Easter egg. The classic bait and switch in this scene was a funny one on the first watch, but I really love seeing Vader's power and the way he just crushes the ship back down to the ground and rips it open. At number four, I may carry a little bit of bias, but I try to be unbiased when it comes to these rankings, but is Princess Leia. What a wonderful introduction to a young Leia we get. Sassy, witty, and lots of charm with all the cuteness of an innocent kid. I truly believe that Carrie Fisher would be so very proud of Vivian's portrayal of young Leia in this show. She added such a wonderful dimension and her dynamic with Obi-Wan worked really well on screen. I loved how all throughout the show there were these quiet moments with Leia and Obi-Wan where he would start to recognise little characteristics of her that were that of Padme and Anakin. But the most beautiful moment I found was in the tear-jerking finale where he bends down and starts to explain to Leia what her parents were really like. You are wise, discerning, kind-hearted, but you're also passionate and fearless forthright and these are gifts from your father Number three is definitely something I didn't think I would ever say. It is, of course, the cameo appearance of Qui-Gon in the final moments of this show. Long have we waited for Liam Neeson to return to Star Wars ever since The Phantom Menace. His return was a welcome one, as Qui-Gon is a fairly popular Jedi that I see fans want more stories of. He was always calm and collected, and being the Padawan of Count Dooku and Master of Obi-Wan always made him to have such fascinating journeys. To be honest, I thought Qui-Gon was going to show up a lot sooner in the series and play more of a role by guiding Obi-Wan with the decisions he makes, but I think the lack of his appearance earlier made for us to really, really want him to show up. Liam Neeson's voice is so smooth and so calming, and what a great, great moment to see him back in those Jedi robes. Beginning to think you'd never come. I was always here, Obi-Wan. You just were not ready to see you. At number two, do I really need to explain this one? It is, of course, the training flashback. Like, honestly, the setting, the music, the nostalgia. The goosebumps I felt watching the scene was incredible. To see Anakin and Obi-Wan back together again in the prequel era was amazing. I know the digital enhancement of this scene has some discussion around it, and they did do the best job they could, but we were transported back to that time, so I think it worked for the most part. They really did well to tie the flashback into the story, mirroring the scenes and dialogue with what was happening in the current day. We just can't go past that iconic Anakin smirk, and we all love the obi mallet. Until you overcome it, a Padawan you will still be. And my number one moment from Kenobi is the final duel with Vader. The build-up of this fight scene, I think, was incredible. The force abilities that we see, the anger, the passion, it was an amazing setup for such a beautiful exchange to follow. The moment where Obi-Wan breaks open Vader's helmet, Rebels fans quietly cheered as it is so parallel to what happens with Ahsoka and Vader's confrontation. With Obi-Wan and Vader, I could spend a whole separate video dissecting the perfection of this dialogue that they have. Obi-Wan apologizing to Vader for years of regret and guilt to then have Vader finally set Obi-Wan free from that guilt by owning that he didn't kill anyone, technically the dark side, or Vader did. I'm sorry, Anakin. For all of it. This show had some amazing strong points and great characters. An honourable mention has to be given to Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Seeing them on screen again was just awesome as well. So let me know down in the comments below what your favourite moment was from this show. Subscribe for more Styles Entertainment. My name is Hannah and always choose the right side.